watch peeps. I was told that I literally scared someone by yelling, what up watch peeps, at the beginning of my videos. <laughs> I was also told that blinking will make people trust me more. So you guys should buy all the watches I tell you to buy. And as it turns out, I have quite a few for sale. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, lest anyone think I'm salty about being critiqued in the comments, I'm not. I'm a good sport. I think it's hilarious. This is the same way I joke around with my buddies, so keep it coming. All right, so today's watch is something that has taught me a lesson. Chillin' Pete is willin' Pete because he is willing to admit when he is wrong. And what the lesson I learned is not to judge a watch that you haven't handled. I'm probably still going to do that, but I'm going to do it full well knowing that I could be wrong. So I thought this watch would be a bit of a gimmick, maybe a fun novelty watch, and it may be those things, but I freaking love it. I gotta admit. So what we're talking about is the Revolver, RVLVR, Revolver AD5. And it is a super cool watch. This is a company, um, the first time I've ever handled one of their watches, Obvi. Um, looks like they have about five models for sale and they're all designed or inspired by revolvers. So let's get into it and I'll explain all the reasons why I love it. This watch actually was lent into the channel as well. It is another tour piece, so I get to spend a few days with it and I'll send it along to another reviewer. If you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe. It is a huge help and always much appreciated. All right, let's get to it. I'm Pete and we are Chillin' With Watches. All right, first things first, wrist check. I'm wearing my, this is a modded Invicta 8926, the Pro Diver that I modded to look like a vintage mill sub. I've had this one for quite a while, still really enjoy wearing it. Skunkworks is my old uh, watch seek Instagram handle, in case you guys are wondering. All right, so this is the box your revolver will come in, and inside you'll find your standard tissue paper flip top box. This box as a review piece has seen better days, but I wanted to show you what it comes in. Here is the watch we're talking about. This is the Revolver AD5 in a 44 millimeter, you know, panorized style cushion case. I guess depending where you grab it, it's 44. Um, and I just love it. It is so much fun. It looks like some kind of five-eyed panda dial looking down the barrel of a gun. I just think it is fun. I love the big chunky strap that's on it. Like I said, I love the case. The crown is huge, real easy to manipulate. The handset, it's, it's something that when I looked at it in pictures, I thought, ah, that's funny, you know, that's kind of cool, I'd like to see it, but it feels really solid in your hands. Um, and on wrist is where it really shined. It was when I first put it on, I looked down, I thought, man, this, I, I really like the way this wears. Uh, it, but you guys know me, I, I like fun in my watches and and this brings that but i i also think it's a good looking watch it does have a helium escape valve you guys know i don't like helium escape valves but who cares i can live with it all right so like i said this watch is available on their website they have about five models um the two quartz models are in about the 170 180 dollar range and the rest of their models seem to go from 330 to this one being the most expensive at 399 You know, I don't like to judge price, but I feel like it might be a little pricey, a little bit of a, a hard sell at that price point. And maybe I'm just recently soured by Zelos's recent 40 millimeter swordfish, making me feel like all watches should cost that much. Now the dial layout obviously looks like a cross section of a revolver. And when we get to the loom, it's even cooler. Handset is just a basic stick hands, but I think they're really nice, really well done. The crown is this big old honking crown. This is another one you got, it has these really pronounced ridges, so it depends where you get it. Say so be seven seven, but at the widest point, you know, you're looking at almost eight millimeters seven seven. Take a closer look at that crown. See, so it depends if you're getting those ridges. You'll see that is a signed crown. 
I can't quite tell what that says. But being so big, it is easy to unscrew. Threads are a little coarse, but you can definitely tell when it comes undone, when you're winding. Easily goes to time setting position. And this is a Seiko NH35 movement. Date wheel flips easily enough. And a white date wheel looks just fine on that silver background. No problem re-engaging the threads. And here is that NH35. I'm not usually, I usually don't care about a display case back because I just don't look at my watches this way, right? I'm not taking them off and staring at the movement. I've seen movements enough that I don't care anymore. But it's cool to have. And around the back, you'll see you get stainless steel, 300 meters water resistance. The lug to lug on this guy is 51 and a half. So it's not a small watch, right? And like I said, it was 40, it's a 44 millimeter case. Let's check out the thickness. 13 and a half. See, I think that's where this watch becomes wearable. That's really not so bad for a 44 millimeter watch. The lug width is, I think they're 22 millimeter lugs. Yeah, 22 millimeter lugs. And I think it's a sapphire crystal on the front, mineral crystal on the back. Like I said, 300 meters water resistance. I, again, I think the helium escape valve is just unnecessary. Who's going to wear this in a diving bell? It's just, that's not going to happen. I don't know why people want to put these escape valves on everything. The bezel is a steel bezel and it, best I can tell, it's a one piece bezel. Now the grip is not the best if you're looking at what you got to grab onto there, but it is keeping with the design of the watch. I, I think design wise, it's fine. It's not an issue to turn. In fact, it may be a little too easy to turn, but it's real precise. There's no slop in it. The clicks are real good. Lines up just great. Does not have drilled lugs. It comes with a quick release strap. I really like the lugs in the case on this watch. That squared off circle is just a shape that really appeals to me. You guys may have noticed I rearranged the desk a little bit. I brought some tools here that I thought might be useful in the videos. First thing here we'll take a look at is the time grapher plot on it. You know, pretty standard Seiko affair, running plus six, plus seven. 250 amplitude, 0.3 beat error. Nothing crazy there. It's um, it's running pretty good. I'm perfectly happy with that. The other thing I brought in here is the scale. So you can see we're running about 126 grams on the rubber strap. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And like I said, I really love this thing when it's on. I love the dark chunky strap how it brings out the black circles of the chambers on the dial um, just all comes together for a really nice looking fun to wear package i think it fits good um, no overhang really it sits low to the wrist relatively conforms to the wrist at least i don't know if i wear this if i had a smaller wrist you could go a little smaller than mine but um Unless you like wearing really large watches, I don't know that I would go too much smaller than that. All right, only one thing left to do. Keep the loom. And this is one of my favorite things about this watch is the loom. Super cool. I believe this is all C3 loom. I love that ring around the outside. It's just really cool. Even looming the brand name there in the top chamber super cool and a very bright loom pip otherwise just loom dots around the indices and the hands are obviously quite well loomed and in the flesh it is um it's loomed very evenly nothing is brighter than anything else it looks real good 
All right, let's flip the camera back around and wrap it up. So that's it guys, the Revolver AD5. And I'm keeping this on the rest of the day because I love wearing it. So is this something you guys would buy? Is it, is it too gimmicky? Would that prevent you from purchasing it? What if it had a plain dial and just kept the rest of the design? Is that something that might be more interesting to you? I'm curious what everyone thinks. Let me know in the comments. Before I let you go, sneaker check. Just wearing my blue Vans today. All right, I'm out. If it's not too much trouble, like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.